welcome to the Magic Circle class on the Reformer today. It's going to be an intermediate level, so we need to bring our mojo for this one. Fran is going to give it a good bash with the Magic Circle. So we're going to start with Pelvic Curl. So, and also grab yourself your Magic Circle and put a one and a half on or a two. Be aware that a one and a half will make it a lot harder when you do your Pelvic Curl. So if you need a little bit more support, put on two instead. And then let's abduct with the magic circle for this series today. So we're gonna put the magic circle around the side of the thighs, just down from the knee joint. Good, make sure the headrest is down. We'll start with a little bit of breathing just to get our body into the mood. Inhale and exhale. So breathing in and out through the nose, helps to calm the body. Also the best way to activate our respiratory system. We're using that lateral breathing. So we're breathing into the back of the ribs and out to the sides. Let's exhale in print as well now. Good, so even though you're pressing gently out into your magic circle to try and help bring those hip abductors on, also make sure that it helps you to feel your inside thigh connection as well. So feel like that connection can still be just as strong so you don't overdo it from the side of your legs. Good, and the next one you're gonna roll all the way back up there, Fran. So reaching sit bones to knees and your thighs will stretch away. And then exhale as you roll back down. Good, so lengthening through two ends of the spine. Good, this is just that process of getting some movement into your body if you've had a long day at work and you haven't moved much. Pressing down through the, through the arms, finding that internal rotation of the humerus and then roll back down because the arms go into quite a bit of shoulder extension as the body raises up there. Good, see so stretching out through the head here. See how Fran's got that lovely load that comes all the way down through that temple line on the skull. Good, last two. Keep energetically drawing the thighs into the bar. Good, last time, we're gonna hold up for a couple of breaths, arms pressed down, pelvis can draw all the way towards your knees, just that little bit more there, Fran. Great, so the, the carriage is on the stopper. And let's just add a little bit of a hip rotation at the top here. Good, so think about rolling from the top of the pelvis around that greater trochanter, keep drawing the sit bones up through to the knees, keeping the knees steady, hip bones towards each other and into the trunk. Nice and firm on the carriage, being part of the carriage as the hips gently float and rotate. Two more here. Good, and slowly roll yourself back down. As you roll down, swing your knees towards your chest, pull the magic circle out and place it into your hands. Single leg stretch, breathing in to prepare and exhale, you're contracting forward and stretching and stretching. So the arms are out long and you're wrapping from around the shoulders, <laughs> around through the arms and around through the shoulder blades. So press that little finger side of the hand into the circle for three, two, one. Then pull those legs in front, place the magic circle in between your ankles for me. It's a double leg stretch. We inhale, extend arms and legs, exhale, circle. Good, press the circle in from those ankles and inner thighs. Good, feel like drawing that center line in. Be careful when your arms go back that it doesn't knock you back. So only take your arms back as far as you can maintain your flexion in your whole spine. Last two, good. Last one, reach. Good, pull yourself in, take hold of that magic circle again. Breathing in to prepare for crisscross, exhale and cross. Good, so you can take your arm across and around the thigh or you can take your arm down by the long leg. We're going to do both. Good, last one around the thigh. Now go down with your long leg, good, and change, good. So think about more rotating and drawing forward through the leg for this one. That's it, Frank, good. Two more. Last time. Good, hold the legs in again. Place the circle between your ankles 
and extend the legs straight up to 90 degrees. Lower your head and take hold of your pecs. If this is not accessible to you and it's too gripping through the front of the hips, then just tabletop the spine, twist the pine. We're gonna do the tick-tock, so the preparation for corkscrew. Inhale to move and exhale, come back to your center. When you move, you're bolting down your opposite shoulder, don't forget. The magic circle will help you draw inwardly with your legs and across. Think about rotating that left leg more in there, Fran. It's quite turned out. That's better. Good. Last one to the right and one more to the left for me. Good. Hold where you are. Breathe in. Lower your legs down and onto the foot. Long legs, please. And onto the foot bar. Good. Stretch those arms straight up. Inhale, chest lift, exhale, roll up. So this is your roll up version and rolling back. Press those legs down onto the foot bar to assist. So it's an inhale and then exhale, press the legs and squeeze the circle, beautiful. Good, and then keep squeezing the circle because that will bring the inner thighs and it will stop you from gripping your lower back and it will help you roll your pelvis. One more time, press those legs down, press the circle together, gorgeous. Sit up lovely and tall here, friend. Good, and then roll from those hips. Good, press those arms down for a rollover. Inhale, raise those legs to 90. Exhale, roll over. Good, press that circle together and roll yourself down. Good, just press the legs down, then bring them back up instead of a circle now, and then roll yourself over. Good. So the magic circle gives a lot of information and actually does help to release the spine if it tends to grip when you move. Good, and it should give you more accessibility to your trunk so the spine can be more the passive receiver of the work and the sides of your body and the hips could lift you up and off that spine. That's it. Good, and roll down. You've got one more. How does that feel? Strong. Strong? <laughs> Good strong? Yeah. Great. Good, and slowly articulating through the spine, lifting the chest, stretching the head, gorgeous. And roll, great control, good. Take hold of the magic circle between your hands and just gently roll yourself up like a ball. Good, and change your legs to your doubles. So mostly for intermediate, it's all springs, or all the springs except one, perhaps for some people. So go for what is gonna suit you today. Roll yourself back and keep the magic circle in your hands. Heels parallel. Good. Headrest can go up if you need that extra support to align the back of the head, the ribs and the pelvis and just bend your elbows in. So we're gonna start with a, just a gentle pec press. Exhale, press away and press that circle. Inhale, open and resist. Exhale, press. So the magic can circle can kind of feel like it is your spring. So as you push away, the spring gets stronger. And as you come in, the spring kind of releases and the um, resistance is less, right? So as you press away, the resistance is quite strong against the circle. And then you slowly work against that resistance as it releases and decreases. Yep, so help yourself feel how the springs coil and recoil and make that part of the grounding. So work with the springs and against those springs so it doesn't push you around. Yeah, let it give you lots of feedback, two more. Great, last one. Pressing away as you come in, get ready to go straight to toes V today. Arms straight up and exhale to press and pull. Again, it's the same thing. We're getting that feeling of pressing in and closing and zipping up through our center as we push away. And then you keep that zip and lift, but then resisting against that spring as it gets lighter and lighter. Good, pressing down through that tail and reaching up through the knees with the sit bones. Last two. Good, last one. Pull yourself in, lift your feet up, heels wide. Good. Bring your magic circle in towards your chest. Press away and squeeze. Good, pull in and raise. Good, or the other way around. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Whatever your brain goes to is good for me. 
Good, so keep working on finding that button underneath the metatarsal of the big toe area. Yeah, so that left, or oh, left leg, yes, it is the left leg, can be reined in there. So keep thinking about that inside thigh, finding that waistline. Nice, Brian, good. Two more. Nice job. Last time. Pull yourself in, toes on. Reach the, yeah, you can place it there instead. Exhale, press away and press. Good. So this is a version you may not have done um, yet. So you place the handle just on the sternum bone there and the elbows are nice and wide, getting that external rotation at the arm and gently pressing down as you reach the elbows away. Good, breathing in and expanding that circle with the lungs. That's right, and exhale. So again, make the lungs do what the magic circle does. Good, two more. Last time. Good, hold out for me, pressing all the way. Good, bring your right foot in, in line with your, yes, and the left foot for raises. Take the magic circle in your pet press. We'll do a combination. Actually stretch your arms. Good, so lower the heels, lower the, the circle. Raise the heels, raise the circle. Good. And let's have a look at that alignment. Again, try to have more metatarsals on there, friend, rather than hanging on with those phalanges, bending at the, the joint there. Good. Finding that little toe so you can find that lateral bridge of your arch pick up. Good. On both your feet there, which will help to align those legs and give you more even musculature connection through the legs rather than just one particular spot such as the outside borders of the legs. Good, last one, hold, pranks, under, up, under, up, good. So energetic through that lift, good, just holding the circle nice and steady now, making the body feel really grounded as the movement changes in the pelvis because it's quite a tricky movement because one hip is in flexion and one hip is in extension. Good, two more. Good, and all the way in when you're done. We're gonna put the magic circle off to the side now. We're gonna roll ourselves up and take one spring off. We'll do Liza and Devlape. Good. So heels on V position for me. Lift your left heel up and exhale and press away and point and pull. Good. So really think about sliding that heel down an imaginary wall to bring it back to that start position. That's it. So trying to close off at the back of the knee and the back of the hip here. And I like to imagine I've got three legs. So you're still pushing with that left hip as well there, friend. Just be careful that the left hip doesn't hike. So careful not to over push with your right leg. Find that inside thigh and wrap that left thigh to try and get that hip on a little more. Great. Good. One more time. Good. Pull yourself in. Transition smoothly. Hover and reach. Good. Well done. Really beautifully done in the transition there. Keep pressing the arms down, lengthening through the head, encouraging the inhale and exhale. And inhale through the nose and exhale. The exhale should always feel more powerful. The inhale should always feel lighter and deeper. Two more times. Last one now. Pull yourself in, toes on parallel, left leg out long under the bar and deblique, press away and reach, good, and pull. So the timing is crucial here, you've got to try and get that coordination and timing so you can't start to pull in and draw the leg under and press, good. And then as you push your leg up, you're keeping that hip nice and grounded, finding that external rotation at the biggest flexion of the hip when you kick it up to the ceiling. Good, two more. Stretching out through that solace as it holds the leg out long. Good, and pull yourself out and in. Interesting, so the pace is quite different on this leg for Fran, so up it up, Franny. 
That's it. So the left leg is weaker, which we've already discovered. And she moves twice the, the slower. She moves quite a bit slower. So press and pull. Good. And press and pull. And it's more to do with that coordination as well on that left side getting faster. You can add up that left knee quite a bit as you're working. Good, okay, she wants to stop, so we'll stop. Let's go for a red as you roll up for your hundreds. So sometimes a red and a blue does feel quite nice, and if you're strong enough, you could go for a red and um, two reds, actually. So lay yourself back down, and we're gonna grab the magic circle again that you popped off to the side, and we're actually gonna put the magic circle between our ankles today. And so once you've got the magic circle between your ankles, you then place the strap around the foot. Actually, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Ignore that, I'm thinking one step ahead of myself. So float your legs to tabletop, that's next in leg straps. And then the arms go straight up, and exhale and press away. Good, inhale, come in. Oh, she got two red and a yellow. <laughs> That's rather nice of you. Two reds, oh, or would red you like a red, a red and yellow? Cool. Okay, let's start that again. <laughs> All right, and off we go. This is real life, though, isn't it? Yep. We talk about putting the springs on in a group scenario, and then sometimes we have to buzz around and fix the springs. Good, so reach that left heel out for yourself there, friends. I feel like your left leg could lengthen a little bit more. That right inner thigh is definitely coming to the party quite well, just so you know. That's it, really push on into the inside border of your left foot and pick up the outside border of your left foot. Yeah, cool, yeah, good. Two more, good, and last one. She's like, no more, no more. Good, we won't stay for long and pump. Two, three, four, five. Good, that's it. Keep puffing up the wrists to the ceiling. That's it, keeping those wrists nice and neutral. Last two breaths, we'll do 50 today. Doing a great job. Get it nice and connected because we're going into coordination after this and it will feel really fantastic. Good, I'll take that out for you, legs together. Inhale, prepare, and exhale, out we go. Oh, close, knees, arms, yeah. So reach into the hundreds, open, close, knees, arms, good. If you've got the ability to go nice and wide and keep the pelvis still, please do. Making sure, Fran, that you're opening from the big thigh muscles right up high near the pelvis rather than just from the toes really quickly. That's it, open, close, whoa. Good, making sure you squeeze that little miniature magic circle that's between your legs on the way in. Two more. Nothing like a good amount of reps to really get you ready for it. Good, and hold up, butterfly. Okay, externally rotate arms and legs as you open them. Good, again, when you open your arms, often people drop their arms. So if you feel that's happening at home for you, just think about lifting, like you're holding something up in your hands. That's it. You're holding something up in the inside of your feet. Good, two more. Beautiful, eight reps minimum. Last one. Eight feels like 30. <laughs> and then now we're gonna put the magic circle between our legs for froggy. So this one's a little bit tricky. So make sure you change the spring to your leg straps. I like it on the same spring to be honest. So red, blue or two red. Good, and then we're gonna put the feet in the straps first. Great. And then you take hold of the magic circle and you place it between your ankles. You don't really need to help anyone do this. It's actually easier to kind of do it yourself. Yeah, if you're helping it kind of a bit wobbly actually, it's better for them to try and do it themselves. Good, then from here, place your imaginary, your foot against your imaginary wall on that left side there, Fran, good. And just a gentle press. So it kind of feels like a parallel frog here. And then press away when you're ready. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Good, keep really kind of wrapping from that right hip and stretching from that left leg. Yeah, whilst you keep that lovely connection through the side of the waist. Well done. 
find a little more internal rotation of that right hip. Now you've got that hip external rotator on. Good, and just really pull it under and down rather than across actually. Yes, I can see you're kind of slightly over correcting that. Good, so often Fran's right hip external rotator on the right needs a bit of help, but she not as much help today as she thought. <laughs> Good, two more here. Good, last push away. Really ground through the shoulders and the head. Pull yourself in, reach for your magic circle. Good, take your circle and place it between your hands. Stretch it up. <laughs> That's it, good. And then raise the legs up to the ceiling if you can, into 90 degrees or slightly less so you don't lose your grounding. Press those legs down. Stretch them around and up. Good. Good. So you're going to get a little bit of um, the straps against your arms, but nothing too major. Perhaps if you had some men in the room that did have quite hairy arms, then this might not be ideal for them. So just see how it goes. That's it. So really squeezing from out and underneath, and she's really kind of getting that upward rotation there. And see how it really stabilizes her whole line, which is really nice. Two more. Good, last time. That's it, good, I'm gonna take the circle away. You're gonna keep your hands up in the air, Francis. Press them together and you're gonna change direction. <laughs> That's right, she's like, what are we doing? <laughs> good, so that should help you get that closure. And it's a little bit more of a challenge, but it's beautiful. There's nothing like integrated movement to really prep you for that really high level work that's coming up. One more time. You can press those arms down, extended from, pull your legs in, pressing away. Good, opening, keep that carriage nice and still as you wrap rather than kind of pulling in from the feet there, Fran. Let's get a high wrap from right at the top of the thighs and wrap, that's better, gorge, good. So you should feel like this is fairly smooth and your body's just doing its thing, thing, complementing the movement now because the magic circle has really switched on those hip abductors, those adductors, we've worked the trunk, yeah, and you should feel quite powerful in these positions. Yes, reversing the direction. Great, so you're pulling in. You keep the steady, still carriage as you open, always tricky, and then the carriage will move and you pull back in again. So more of a wrap around and around and around and around. That's it, really keeping that tail dropping down there, Fran, like a little caterpillar creeping out to have a look up your spine. Last one to make you even. And then, so pull in, open your legs out into your largest extended frog position and hold for a breath stretch. So breathing through those inside thighs, reach that right leg as much as you can and lift that left leg just a tad so you're even. That's better, good. And think about rolling your legs actually into even more external rotation. Yep, but then press your tailbone down even more. Yep, reach it, reach it. There you go, there's quite a strong stretch, I imagine. Good, one more breath. Good, and then we're gonna take hold of the magic circle and place the magic circle on the outside of the ankles for your long spine. Good, so legs go straight up into the air now. Good, abducting. Exhale to come up into the air. Good, breathing in to hold and a little bit more of a press. And exhale, roll down, keeping that carriage nice and steady. Good, and holding. Good, inhale, lower and raise, instead of our circle. Exhale, gliding up. So see how the carriage does not move? She really has to pick up from the hips there and press down with the arms. Exhale, roll down, same thing. Carriage stays still, reaching the pelvis away, gliding the spine. Then now the carriage moves. Inhale, lower, lift, get just past 90. 
Press the arms, lift from the hips there, friend. Gorgeous work, such a good job. Pull from those lateral arches a little bit more. That's it, good. And then roll down. Think of pushing the feet up to the ceiling as you stretch the spine. Let's see if we can keep it down for as long as we can. Oh, yes, good. You got one more, okay? And that'll be about five, I think. That's it. I'm not bad at counting. Good, really press down through those arms a little more. Yeah, good. And then curl that spine as you push up, push up, push down with the arms. Fantastic. Good, all right, let's take the uh, magic circle out and just, let's just pop it to the side for a little bit now. Good, reverse knee stretch. So one spring, or um, if that feels too strong, often a blue is quite nice. And then if you really just were doing a lesser level program, a yellow for lots of people too, it's good to start with. Okay, but Fran's doing the intermediate now, she's got one red, and she's gonna place her hands on the outside of the front. The knees are up against the shoulder rest and we go into our imprint there. So we're going into flexion, Fran. Good. And then take a deep breath in, press the shins down. And then on your exhale, swing from the hips. Be careful you don't pull from the arms. Good. And swing from the hips. That's it. Good. So pressing the shins down will help to get the back of the legs on. Drawing those legs together like that magic circle, that was a great one, is still there. Thinking about pulling from the inside borders of the legs and all the way up into the spine to help connect that psoas as well. Good, pushing from those shoulder flexors into the um, framework to get that serratus helping to stabilize. Good, last two. Good, last time really pull it around. Good, and hold. Take your hands over to one side and we'll do the oblique version. Good, so wrapping the hands around the outside version of the frame, keeping the hips nice and square and now pull the carriage under, good. So the rotation is more coming from your thoracic shoulder area, yep, and then the pelvis is coming through nice and square. So keep thinking about the opposite inside thigh, drawing across to the hands that are holding onto the frame there, Fran. Good, and again, careful not to turn those hips. <laughs> a little bit that's different on this side isn't it yeah good that's it good and then uh, yeah flexion and then pull good really push with that right arm there Fran instead of pushing out with the rib cage so often we shift a lot to the right if we're right-handed so Fran's working on trying not to do that so instead she needs to work more from the arm on the right so that doesn't happen beautiful Oh, it's hard work. Two more. Pull those inside thighs in so you can really feel that kind of lift up through. Yes. Oh, yeah. Lovely work. Well done. Good. We'll keep working on that one. That is so hard. Okay, let's go straight into high bar cobra. So Brands just put on a, a one and a quarter, so a red and a yellow, but one and a half is also good. Good, so high bar cobra there. Hovering those hips, that's it. Good, and pull that carriage in. Yeah, good, that's it, beautiful. So, breathing in to unravel. Good, exhale, press from the hips. Nice, Fran, good, pull yourself all the way up into that lovely extension. Keep the carriage on the stopper, and then curl back over and into that kind of ready to kind of jump feeling. Yeah, so pushing back through the heels as she unravels through the whole spine. Then those hips are raring to go. And she reaches the chest up, pushing back through the heel still and down through the hands and curling through. Good, keep that flowing for yourself. Let the body investigate the movement. Keep being aware that you're um, working from that front body just as much as that back body, especially when you go into that extension shape there, Fran. As you come forward, lift up through that front lower wall, yes. So maybe it feels like you have to not just push back with the heels so much, but you need to think about finding that magic circle adduction so you break yourself out of your lower back. That was better. 
Good, and then just one more because that's quite a few, but you're getting better and better as you go through it. Gorgeous. Oh, and you're going to hold there. You're going to slide your heels halfway down and pull up into your upstretch position. Great. So that's a nice little transition. Fran knew what to do, so they're kind of in that toe sit. So as they lift their bottom, you slide your heels. So you could teach your group. Um, to do that, so you can now slide straight through into upstretch too. Good, so we inhale to stretch away and into your upstretch too, pushing from the hips. Good, and exhale, pull from that waist up through those inside thigh muscles and pushing with those shoulder flexors. Good, so really pushing from that tricep, getting those lats engaged, reaching the pelvis back. They sh that pelvis should feel really quite strong. As you come up into your height, friend, let's pull back through this left leg and left hip a little bit. That's it. Good. See how? Yeah. Good. Two more. Have a look from here so we can really, yeah, keep pushing and swinging that left shoulder blade around so hard, trying to get that stability on that left side. Good. Hold and come forward into your long stretch. Good, and press back. Good, so really pushing from that little finger side of the hand to bring the shoulder blades around. Often we get a little bit too compressed here, so see if you can puff that up so it feels like you're flexing a little bit there, friend. That's much nicer and she gets a lot more range forward now. So she keeps lifting up from here is where you wanna go from that kind of thoracic lumbar junction where you can get a bit tense but then it won't feel very nice in the shoulders if it's too tense. One more, because that's heat. Good, and then hold the carriage in for elephant. Good, so heel still against the shoulder rest. Take a deep breath in, lift all 10 toes and press back. Out, in, out, good. Try to keep those hips exactly where they are as you pull those legs in. This is tricky, so those thighs stay away from your tummy. Yes. Good. All the way in, in, in. Good. So come in, in, and in. Yeah. So you have to keep trying. Yes. Two. And one. Well done. Reverse lunge. This kind of feels like a bit of a gift, really, after all of that, I think. So put the headrest up, yeah, and then take one foot against the shoulder rest. So it's kind of toes up the shoulder headrest, excuse me, and heel on the carriage. And then the other foot swings back against that foot bar. Good, bring your foot down a bit so you've got more metatarsals on again, so you're not just hanging on those phalanges. Good, and then wrap your right thigh out and under. Cool, and then push back with this left leg and drop that hip a little bit. There, good. Then press the carriage away. Good, hike up. Nice, and come forward. Good. So be careful as you go back into that stretch that your leg that you're stretching doesn't swing your whole pelvis around with it. So just steady as you go out there, Fran. Yes. Good. Now steady. Push back through your left hip. Hold. Yeah, good. Otherwise, the instability kind of swings you out of your shape because it is a, it is tight, I know. That's it. Wrap and push. Good, hold there. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Breathing as you're holding, you can give out your pelvis is like a helium balloon floating up to the ceiling to let your spine kind of gravitate all the way down into the skull, pressing back and pulling up through that leg. And then down into your stretch in this position. Good, breathing in and out, reaching that leg forward, pulling that hip around. Two more breaths, I know this one's a strong one. Good, keep pushing through those shoulder flexors, reaching from that tricep area, Good, one more breath. Good, and careful as you pull back in. Let's transition with the plank exercise. So take your foot, yes, reach and bring the other leg through. Beautiful job. Okay, press that carriage away. Good, exhale to pull up. Inhale to come out. 
good. Exhale to pull in. Inhale to push away. Exhale to pull up. Great. Good. So try your best friend to keep stimulating this back hip. Yep. Good. It's a little tighter on that left leg, so it pulls her out of her alignment. So don't go down as far as you did on the other side. That's better, and I can see your right glute and thigh actually pick up now. Yep. Good. So just guide your, your clients, because they may feel like they can do the same range, but they might just have to slightly adjust it. Good. One more on the next one. We'll hold in the pike. Great. And hold and breathe. Good. Same with this. This exercise, you're really generating energy back and up with the pelvis and then spine can then tumble forward. Last breath, picking up the back of the leg here. And then go forward into your hamstring stretch. Good. That's it. Great. Pretty good alignment there, really dropping down through that left hip as it spins around. And careful as you dismount. Yes, so bringing the carriage in. Good. And we're going to go get the short box now. So grab your short box. Okay, place your short box on the carriage and feet underneath the long strap. Make sure you have all your springs on now. So we're going to use the magic circle as a little bit of an assist to create that lovely shape in the spine for Jeannie. So if you've not done this one before, what you do is you just place the kind of magic circle against the sternum and then you curl your forehead up and over and then you try and bring that magic circle around to that pubis area as well. And then the hands are cradled and, are, and they're kind of hugging around the circle there. And then you inhale and prepare to move. And on your exhale, it really comes from the hips, the sit bones drawing to the back of the knees. ASI's, ASIS wrapping into your magic circle and then curling forward and you stay curled. Good, and so you're rolling back. Keep thinking about drawing those front two hips together like a seat belt into that magic circle. Keep pushing those hips towards your heels as you roll. Good, and remember we're rolling from this part of the hip rather than over flexing our back. Yeah, so it's the lower part of your hip joint here that turns you around and through. So just remember that as you move. Keep working on getting that connection through the inside borders of the legs. You breathe in, you hold back as far as you can, and then you tumble your trunk up and over your pelvis. That's it, one more. This is a really lovely way if people find it difficult to keep that shape to help them feel what the shape should feel like. Good, and then take the magic circle and place it in the hands above the head. We'll do our flat. Take a deep breath in and stretch the whole trunk back, keeping your head reaching through the circle that is above your head now. So reach the head through and reach the sit bones in the opposite direction. Yeah, so you're really, again, hinging from this junction point that we spoke about to make sure that you're not going from your lower back or your sacrum too much. So tipping from right underneath your seat is the way to do it. And then the trunk and the arms just maintain the shape. One more. Good. Let's do the tilt here. Keep the, the circle above the head. If that feels too difficult, then of course you can take it out for this. Good, to keep you out of your back here too much, I want you to feel like you're diagonally drawing forward there, Fran, and then find a little more flexion bias. So stretch both your sides, that's right, then curl. Both your sides off forwardly and diagonally, hold. Then try and curl into lateral flexion. That's it, then pull yourself back. Let's slow that down. Both your sides over. Good, then try and laterally flex and back down. So the opposite hip pulls down as you reach through that magic circle. A little flexion, good, and back. One more. This will really help you be able to do the twist if you get this right. Oh, God. 
Go, 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 go. Nice job. And pretend I'm holding your hip down for you over there. And then let's do a twist. So you're rotating and you're reaching back. Gorgeous. Good. So really get the twist there, Fran. You could go that little bit further. Good, because it will help you bring on those obliques to hold your front line on rather than just overworking this back line because the arms are up so high, you can work quite strong through the back. So we want to keep those waistlines, that's better. Good. Last one to this side, then you've got one more over here and one more over there. So we have two more reps to go. Last one. Climb a tree. So let's take the magic circle down. But if you did have someone that was in your intermediate level class and perhaps they just needed a little bit of support with this, then you could obviously use the magic circle as a bit of an assist. So holding on, arms through and holding on to the wrist, sitting up as tall as you physically can. So bend this front knee more and pitch forward. Yeah, I know you've got amazing hip flexion. It's more the hamstring strength. Um, length that Fran's working against here. So inhale, prepare. On your exhale, try and reach for three up and down on that one exhale. Good, then inhale, you walk up the leg. Good, then exhale, we pivot in the hip, 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 hip until the leg goes to 90 and the other leg gets caught. And then slowly walk down very gently, not hanging on to the leg though. We're laying ourselves down with our tummy. And then you circle your arms around and go into extension. You walk up the leg without pulling it. And you bring your forehead towards your knees and breathe. And then you walk down your leg again. Good, and roll back to 90. Good, reach that heel up. Circle those arms, push that leg down. Sorry, curl yourself up. Little tiny, little gent gentle connection forward there. Last one. Yeah. Oh, the legs feeling it. Good. And roll yourself back. Good. That's it. Let's walk up our legs this time without holding on. And we change sides. Good. Just adding just a little glute stretch in there. Good. And then we're going to change sides. So. Sitting really tall. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, three extensions inside that one. Exhale. Inhale, walk up that leg. Exhale, pivot in the hip. You start to go into your C curve. You stop at that 90 and you slowly walk down now. Good job. Then you circle those arms back. Really pressing that left leg down for yourself, Fran. I can see she needs a little bit of assistance there. Good. Inhale, little rock forward. And exhale, roll yourself back. So pressing this leg into keep extension. That's it. So when you go back into your extension, you feel grounded by the pelvis and the legs. And you don't feel vulnerable. Yeah, it's really important, actually. You want that sacrum to be supported and that lower back to be supported. So when you're walking down and now when you're going into this extension, it's an even extension through the whole body still, rather than just feeling like it's at your lower back. Good. And having a good stretch. Nice job. Okay, we're going to take our long, our short box off now. And we're going to go into our kneeling arm series. Wonderful. Let's go for one spring. But if that feels a little strong at any point, perhaps when you turn around towards the foot bar, you may want to choose to go down a level. So just feel, feel your way through it. So Fran's going to place her knees against the shoulder rest and go into high kneeling position. She's then going to press her shins down nice and firm. Again, we're imagining our magic circles there. Our hands are forward and they're energetic as they hold. And then you exhale and you press all the way back into that lat press. Inhale, they go forward and energize forward. Exhale and press. Good, so she's chosen to take her hands a little further up to give her a little bit more grunt because she's quite strong in this positioning. Just keep trying to press yourself forward there, Fran, with your pelvis without tucking under too much. Yep. So again, feel like you could drift forward more from the side of the hip joint 
rather than shunting from that sacrum. Good, and if the hip joint takes you forward, then so does the abdominals need to bring you more into your front body flexion feeling. Oh, la la, she don't like this correction. Oh, but I can feel that changed her and she's got more of the lats and the shoulder extensors on and she's less holding from here. So I think it feels better even though it's harder, right? Yeah, she's softer and she's really in the work now. So two more reps there. Great, much better. One more time. Cool dudes, let's spin ourselves around. This is where you may want to go slightly lighter. See how you go first though. So we start with our circles. Good, take hold of the short straps. I'll move out of your way. And again, push back through the heels like a toe sit to propel yourself forward and hold from those hips again. You inhale, you raise up. Good, and circle those arms around. Good, and exhale to raise up. And circle those arms around. Good. So making that lovely lift forward through the chest the whole time. Ooh, yeah. That's good to see that every now and again. It reminds you to catch. And Fran is doing a large range. You don't have to do this size circle, okay? I did not start with this size circle when I learned this exercise. So you may just do smaller ones to start. So just see how you go. You do want to make sure you can manage the trunk. Go the other way now. Beautiful, good. So the hips are still propelling you forward, then the arms are doing the work. Yeah, so the hips are holding you nice and stable so you can really go to that upward rotation. So think deep down through the fingertips and reach up. Good, one more to make you even. Good. And then you take your hands up and into your diamond tricep press now. Good, breathing in to bend the hands back and hug behind the crown of the head. Exhale and press forward. Good, so we're really wanting to uplift from kind of that tricep area just um, from that armpit to tricep. You don't want to pop out through the armpit. You want to keep that hold there. So really lifting up and around from the shoulders and then stretching through that area. So you've got this lovely uplift of the elbows and then you'll really feel that connection. Two more. Pressing back through the heels, holding from the hips. And that should be your last one. And then you're going to go through into your reverse bicep. So try to now, you just work those triceps, use them. And imagine there's little butcher hooks hanging off the edge so to lift your arms up. And then exhale, you come into your biceps. Good. So from this position, your arms are behind you in extension. Your humerus will be internally rotating and your shoulder blade needs to retract. So Fran, you can get more of a flexion feeling from the front body and then more of a retraction kind of at that lower trap, like a little diamond shape that pulls down here, the base of that diamond. Two more. down and opening those collarbones. Last one. And let's do some standing abduction and adduction using the magic circle now. So, one red string is a good string choice. Taking hold of your magic circle and carefully getting onto the machine. One foot on the platform, one foot on the carriage that moves. Abduction to start, okay? So Fran's just doing this lovely kind of closed in chest Pet, pet press position. That's what we're going to maintain as we press away. And then you pull in and rotate. Then you come back to the start position and press away. So there's an even press happening from both your hips now, which can be quite tricky because one the hip has to move and one stays fairly steady. So think about digging down through the hips and the feet. Yeah, and then press out from the blades, edges of your feet. Gorgeous.
good. Using that feeling of closure through the magic circle, but space through the elbows to help broaden kind of you through your ribs to give you an up as you rotate. Good, so broaden through the sacrum to mimic the ribs and the circle and narrow and press from that hip joint. Good. Nice. Last one here. Good, and relaxing. Good, let's stay exactly where we are and creep our foot out for your abduction. Good, okay. Use the other arm there, Fran. Great, so we're going to do a bicep press as well here. So you start out, so get into your position. Good, yep, and she's choosing to keep the other arm floated to keep her feeling even. And then as she pulls in, she's gonna press down. And inhale, and exhale. So that sensation of pressing down through the magic circle should help you pull in and up through those legs. So think big toes slide towards each other and drawing up like the water coming up and out of the top of the head like a fountain. Good. For four, keep energetically drawing those thighs back for yourself there, Fran. Good, but keeping the work in that kind of arch of the foot too. Last one. Good. And careful as you dismount. Thank you. And then spin yourself around. Let's do that whole series again. Same as before with the rotation. So we exhale and we press away with our hip abductors. Good, inhale, pull in, rotate. Come back and reach. Good. So careful not to go forward too much with your stance there, Fran, that's it. Just drifting into a diagonal tilt forward there, that's better. Good, but you can work to pull your sit bones down. Yes, otherwise it's too much lower back. Yeah, good, so really tricky. Really still aiming back of head, back of ribs, back of pelvis, stacked on top of each other here, okay? You really want that uplift through all four sides of your trunk sensation. So when you rotate, it feels clean and clear and spacious. Just do one more. Good, let's put your bicep um, into play and take your feet all the way out. Press the carriage away 100%. Good, exhale, pull that carriage in. Press that bicep. Good, inhale and press. Nice, good. As you press, feel like you're stretching your elbow away to press. Good. As you pull in, feel like you're drawing your big toes towards each other and those legs all the way up and out your head. Good, keeping that energy back with the pelvis, but the load still going straight down through to the arch of the foot. Nice. Good, two more. Last one. Excellent. Careful as you dismount. Let's get the, sh the short box on and do side overs. So quick transition here, a couple of springs. You don't have to put them all on at this level, but just make sure there's a few so your carriage feels steady. And then put your platform down. Good. And then laying on your side with your foot in the long strap. Hands go above and behind your head. Take a deep breath in to come down. Exhale to come up. Good. So making sure that those hips stay stacked directly above each other and pressing that thigh down on the box of that underneath leg. So that structure is your stable structure. It is down and grounding. Then the spine elongates and bends up and down. Waistline is wrapping. Good, one 
Um, zero <laughs> mate. Good. Change over. <laughs> Five to six reps is ample. Cool. That's it. Hands behind the head. Off we go. That's it. So at this intermediate level, you expect them to be familiar with their placement, the flow of the class. Yeah. So you don't have to take a long time setting them up wrapping the leg around and plugging it in. All the work that you've done so far to pretty much put them into place straight away. Good, reach, good, bend that spine as you go over, plug those legs down. That was excellent, one more. Good, and careful, <gasps> nice. And quick, easy transition to slide your box to long for breast stroke. One red spring or a blue, depending on how, how strong you feel in that position you're working on it. And then you're careful as you get onto the box for this one. So hands in short straps and a big lunge. And then on we get. Good, so just moving your legs over just a little bit there, Fran. Good. So you can see Fran is just kind of curled over the front border of the box there. The hands are underneath her shoulders and she's going to inhale and reach those arms forward as she comes out long and then circle around and pull in okay and then you flex over again reach forward good how does that spring leg feel okay yep yep okay so reach back through those heels and reach back through those sit bones yes that was beautiful good that's it Good, one more time, I'm gonna give her an assist. So she's gonna reach, reach forward with the arms. Good, and then she's gonna try and lift up, get a bit more of extension. Good, and pull in, one more time. I'm gonna give her even more of a press down now. Good, and press forward. Good, this is the last one. Very nice, look at that. Good, and all the way through. One to work on and into your rest pose for most people at all times. It is a tricky exercise. And then slowly I'll take them for you if you like, friends. And then have a moment of breath. Whilst you get your composure ready for jumping. The finale. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So, strap in. <laughs> take hold of the short strap. Good, so lots of people do kind of complain about this being quite sore on their inside thighs. Just make sure that you're getting it as high up around the, um, the, the fleshier part of your thigh as possible. Yeah, I know. So it does mean you kind of stretch those legs quite wide, yeah? And then you're starting with your hands down by your hips and you're in a long, yes, seated position. That's perfect rolling those thighs in and around the box rather than external, okay? So think in and around. And here we go there, Fran. You're going to inhale and then exhale, curl, hover and lift. Then inhale, just come back and tuck the bottom. Good, and exhale. So you maintain your C curve. Inhale, tap. Exhale, wrap and push. You're lifting from underneath the seat, but the push through the hands will help you to pull up through the spine and up through the pelvis. One more, hold out, hold, take a deep breath. Good, yes, I was gonna say, you could do circles or you could do scoops, whatever floats your boat. Keep lifting up with those inside thighs, pushing through those fists, gorgeous, and come through. Round of applause, well done, yeah. Okay, so let's careful as we come off now. We're gonna just stand up and finish with a standing right now. Good, so you should feel fairly primed. So take a deep breath in through the nose, and as you exhale, slowly nod your chin, rolling your whole body forward, lifting the pelvis like that buoyant balloon, lifting to the ceiling, and then exhale, roll from that cog on the side of the hip, the feet stamp down, the inner, side, inner thighs pull up and through the head, and rolling back down again, tumbling, using that front body to tumble your body over, 
using that back body to stretch but stay connected to lift you up good and then feeling that back body start to connect to roll you back and through and unraveling the front body we're going to breathe in to raise the arms and exhale and lower one more time big breath in and out and you're finished well done for making it through the reformer class with the magic circle at that intermediate level